<laughs> I told y'all so. I told y'all that this day would come. I told y'all that this would happen. All of the city girls, they were calling me a male-identified pick-me. I didn't know what I was talking about. They're out here winning. They're getting to the bag. I'm out here struggling, and they're out here on the come up. I told y'all, pump your brakes, ma'ams. Because even when it comes to the best of you, y'all going to feel that struggle. I want to get into Black China. Okay. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Black China was the epitome at one point of what a hot girl, city girl, boss chick energy was. Right. She was out here getting to the bag. She was out here brushing elbows with the most rich and famous of people. And, you know, she was really creating this whole brand for herself as far as being that it girl that y'all love to claim these type of chicks are, right? And now to witness and see all that she is going through and all that she is doing, all because she is going broke and struggling and becoming a joke, like we all knew that a lot of these chicks like her would y'all can't handle it y'all can't take it and if this is happening to the best of y'all what do y'all think is going to happen to the worst of y'all like seriously if this is happening to one of the hottest city girls the bossy of boss chicks what is that what does that say and what does that leave the average everyday wannabe city girl, wannabe boss chicks. Told y'all so. I told y'all, look, you may not want to play too heavily into that lifestyle because it's going to come at a high price. And not just monetarily. It comes at a high price when it comes to your mental health your physical health and well-being, emotional, spiritual, the whole nine, baby. And with a lot of you all being so materialistic, a lot of you all being so superficial, you got to know them pockets are going to get hit first. See, a lot of these females of today that want to play into being a city girl and a hot girl and a boss chick and independent and strong and get into the bag, you know, they feel like that lifestyle will never end for them because I'll always be young and vibrant and I'll always be sexy and I'll always have the top of the line men that are chasing after me that want to be with me. And that doesn't happen. It doesn't. Before you know it, your reputation is in the gutter. Your name means nothing. And the quality men that you should have been building with, that you should have been settled down with, they see you as a liability. They don't want to touch you because they see you as a 304. And because you thought that the money would always flow in, and the men would always be and knock down your door. You start getting real relaxed, way too comfortable, way too reckless, not being mindful of the things that you're engaging in, not being mind, mindful of the money that y'all are dishing out because after all, it's all about the illusion, all about the aesthetic. How does this look on Instagram? Oh, I got to have the latest red bottoms. I got to have the latest Birkin bag. I got to have the latest and greatest bust down lace front wig. I got to have the latest and greatest long, ridiculous nails. I got to have the latest and greatest car. You know, the luxury apartment. I got to be able to take all of these trips. And what does that cost? Money. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, just you doing a club walkthrough because you are the it girl doesn't happen for you anymore. Nobody's just throwing you racks of money 
to come to, you know, promote their party. Again, do a club uh, walkthrough, you know, just come on the stage, host something that dries up because ma'ams, you dry up. There's always a new and upcoming, new and improved, more young and vibrant, more nastier, freakier version of you that's right around the corner. And so why would I pay you that is essentially a has-been to do some of the same things that the more relevant, more popular, younger, vibrant version of you would do probably for little to nothing? Right. And before you know it, you become desperate. This is what happens to a lot of these city girls, a lot of these hot girls, a lot of these boss chicks. I don't need your money. I don't need no man. I can have a rotation. You can spend your money on me, but best believe I got my own. I ain't got to listen to you. I ain't ready to settle down. I don't want to settle down. I don't want that. I don't want this. I told y'all. And then before you know it, you're looking stupid, aged out, phased out, and you're having to do very desperate things to try to make those means meet. Because a lot of y'all are living beyond y'all damn means. A lot of y'all are doing way too much. Let's get into this. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. When I came across this, I said, wow, wow. Is this what's going on? And I remember not too long ago, Black China was on her, you know, holier than thou tip. I guess that didn't pay out how she wanted it to. So now she got to do this desperate stuff. Let's get into it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Angela White, formerly known as Black China, is pretty much having a fire sale of her own belongings because she says she has no money and she needs her baby daddy, Tiger, to pay up. So she has sold her purses, her shoes, her clothes. She has made about $176,000 so far. Wait a minute, 170? What? I know. I wouldn't get that much if I sold my stuff. She should not be talking about this because the IRS can be like, oh, that's yep. interesting. Well, she's saying she has to pay for her legal fees to try to get custody of her kids. So she's asking Tiger to pay the legal fees so she can fight him. This is so sad. This is confusing too because recently she said she made like $3 million on OnlyFans. Oh, uh, whoopsie. See, again, this is what happens when you live beyond your means. You heard what he just said. He said, this is confusing because wasn't she making $3 million on OnlyFans? Like, how does this happen? Well, it happens because these chicks are out here trying to present a certain lifestyle, trying to live up to a standard that they just do not qualify for people don't check for them how they used to and before you know it, it's like damn i can't really afford to uphold this i can't really afford to do all of these grand things that i used to be able to do why because again nobody is really uh checking for uh what i'm doing who i'm doing what I got going on, like, that's just not a thing anymore. And unfortunately, this is the rule reality check that a lot of women will have to face. Even the average chicks, because we already know when it comes to the typical everyday average female, they think that they're on Black China's level anyway. So they're really splurging. They're really being reckless. They're really living way beyond what they can really afford. So when you see this happening too, again, one of the top notch city girls, it's like, whoa, what? Black China is having to sell her whole life to make ends meet. I thought the hoes was winning though. What, what, what's going on? I thought the city girls were up though. What, what, what happened? Mm. 
and y'all excuse uh my outside noise they are doing lawn work but yeah like this is what happens a lot of the times and unfortunately a lot of uh the women of today will have to face this same reality of trying to grasp at, at straws just to you know pay their bills just to pay a car note just to get food and shelter because hey i thought that i would always be the hot girl city girl it girl and what did i say it takes a huge toll on not only your finances but your image your reputation your name and before you know it nobody takes you seriously nobody of real substance value that has things to offer to you takes you seriously that's why in my opinion you saw black china earlier on this year uh in late last year i believe you know talking about oh i'm turning over a new leaf i'm no longer uh black china i am actually angela white right because she knows like that's not paying the bills no more men are not just checking up and running up behind me like they used to especially considering the fact that a lot of men are kind of waking up to a lot of the antics and the mind games and all of that that goes along with dealing with a chick like a black china you know a lot of guys are like look yeah that that ass though yeah she got this and yeah she a look freak you know but eh, probably not wise for me to get involved with her probably not wise for me to take her seriously and a lot of guys are also like it's probably not wise for me to also you know stick it to her and do her because like we're getting ready to show you all in a second these same females once they do become dried up and washed up and they start going broke and nobody's checking for them anymore because again hoes are just not it in today's time again liability they'll try to finesse you out of your bag by way of a child so on all fronts and on all levels a lot of guys are just like yeah no thank you you can have it and so the type of guys that a lot of these chicks are being left with are the bottom of the barrel all the guys that really don't have much to offer like that really don't have a lot of money like that you know what I'm saying? If they do, they're not cashing out. You know, and so now I'm stuck in this position to where I'm having to literally sell my whole life to try to live up to the same standard of living that I'm accustomed to living because back then I was hot. Back then everybody was checking for me. Back then I was this boss independent chick. And now I have, you know, developed this reputation for myself to where it's like, nobody really wants to take a chance on me like that. You know what I mean? And yes, this is even happening to the only F's girls. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay. So yeah, these chicks like a, a black China, they can make 3 million off of OF and still end up broke still end up crashing out because again they don't really know how to navigate and really budget their lifestyle and live be and live under their means and then before you know it you're out here just looking crazy getting real desperate trying to make a man now pay for your lifestyle Let's go there for a second, and then I want to get into this article. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. These chicks today are becoming so desperate that they are now trying to force men into paying for, you know, their bills, their lifestyle, um, their kids. Like, they're forcing them to do that. And it's like, hold on. Now, y'all cannot be the same chicks 
that's out here talking about how y'all don't need no man. Y'all don't want no man. You got your own bag. You all high and mighty. Y'all cannot be those same chicks now forcing men to take care of you because you realize that men are not trying to do that willingly. So now you got to force their hand. It's that bad out here. It is so bad out here with men being absolutely checked out that these women are like, okay, since y'all don't want to do it willingly, I'm going to try my damnness to force your hand to feed me. It's that bad out here, even for the boss chicks, even for the hottest of the hot girls, even for the best of the city girls, the it girls. That's how bad it is out here right now. How do you make three million on, on OF and now you're having to sell everything? Told y'all so. I told y'all these men were not playing. It's a new day and age. And yeah, it's just not hitting how it used to hit. Both literally and figuratively. Men are not hitting it like they used to hit chicks like a black China. Because they figured out she a liability. And when it comes to just you as being that it girl, you're just not hitting like that no more. And so they're resorting to this. Let's get into this article, you all. Okay. It says, last month, Black China, who now goes by her real name, Angela White, legally requested that her ex-partner, Tyga, start paying child support for their 10-year-old son, King. Okay, it says, for those who aren't aware, Angela and Tyga started dating in 2011 and welcomed King the following year. They swiftly got engaged two months after his birth, though ended up parting ways in 2014. Okay, it says, a year ago, Angela put Tyga on blast after publicly alleging that she was getting no support from him as a single mother. And, and I really hate that. Let's go here for a second. And again, y'all like the video. This is some real talk. I really hate how when the chick starts struggling, the same one that told you she didn't need you, she didn't want you, she was a boss, she was getting to her back. I really hate how their first line of defense is, oh, well, I'm just going to get in my baby daddy bag. Even if the baby's father is already financially contributing to the child's life. But they get so desperate, you all, because they start going broke and, and ends are not meeting. So where it's like, yeah, I, I got to find it somehow. And so their trump card is playing on the whole, I'm a single mother and I'm out here hustling and I'm out here struggling by myself. See, they, they blame their struggle on the kids. Not on them being irresponsible, not on them being reckless, not on them not being wise with their millions of dollars that they've accumulated over the years. The first thing they want to go to is, no, the reason why I'm going broke is not because of those things. It's because I'm a single mother and I'm doing it all by myself. And I ain't getting no help. And come to find out that was a lie. But again, this is what they want to play on. It says, yesterday, I had to give up three of my cars. My reasons morals belief being a single mother and no support i'm a mama she tweeted again peep the game on her trying to uh use the whole i'm a single mother and i'm by myself nobody helping me just just peep game on how she's using utilizing that why because that usually pans out and works for a lot of you know the going broke bad boss chicks, right? It's an easy escape. It's an easy cop out, an easy excuse. So you don't look bad and you don't look stupid for not managing your life right, you know? So no, I didn't have to give up three of my cars because of me. It was because I'm a single mother and I don't get no support. Girl, please. And these be the same ones and the main ones getting all the support they need. 
It says Tiger quickly responded to Angela's message, clarifying that he wasn't paying child support because he was spending $40,000 per year on King's tuition. Let's pause there while y'all like this video. Share this video and subscribe. $40,000 is more than a lot of y'all make in a damn year. Tyga is spending that on his 10-year-old child's tuition to school alone. Yet, you have Black China, again, the bosses of all the boss chicks, the most cities of city girls, right? Out here using the card of I'm broke and I'm struggling and I have to give up my whole life and sell everything because, you know, I ain't got it like that and ain't nobody helping me. When she has one baby father, okay, because she has two, I believe. She has one baby father that is spending more on his child's tuition than a lot of y'all make in a damn year or just as much. But she's struggling. Girl, please. No, you are out here fumbling and struggling because you messed up your life. You didn't make the wisest of decisions. You thought that you would always be this boss chick. You thought that you would always be this hot girl. And it, it backfired. That's what had happened. So please miss me with this. He says uh, he also claimed that he'd been looking after the little boy most days of the week. So again, Black China, how in the hell are you this single struggling mother that don't get no help, right, that nobody's looking out for when you have a, a, a baby father, one of your baby fathers, that is heavily involved in the child's life, one could argue more than you are. But let's continue. I mean, if you broke because you didn't know how to manage your stuff right, just say that. But blaming it on being a single mother, like that's trash. It says, I pay 40K a year for my son's school and he lives with me Monday through Saturday. Let that marinate. Monday through Saturday. Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's pretty much every damn day. So, China, what are you talking about again? But again, this is all the, the these 304s know to go to. Oh, I'm a single mother. I'm struggling. Ain't nobody helping me. And so that's why I'm going broke. No, you're going broke because you are a joke. You thought that you could be this strong, independent boss chick. You thought you could be wild, reckless, and free. And you didn't plan right. That's what had happened. Let's read that again. It says, I pay 40K a year for my son's school and he lives with me Monday through Saturday. Why would I pay child support? LOL. Tygo wrote. Why would he? If anything, China, you should be paying him child support. The hell wrong with you? It says, shortly after, uh, it says, shortly afterwards, Tiger was supported by another one of Angela's exes, Rob Kardashian, who shares a six-year-old daughter named Dream with her. It says, echoing Tiger's claim, Rob entered the conversation and wrote, I pay $37,000 a year for my daughter's school. I handle every single medical expense. I pay for all her extracurricular activities. I have my daughter from Tuesday through Saturday. Why would I pay child support? Lord have mercy. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Again, that's pretty much the whole damn week. So again, China, what are you talking about? It says, 
Tiger and Rob's comments quickly prompted several users to call Angela out for requesting child support payments from her exes while they were already allegedly providing so much. Because these are going broke. It says she doesn't deserve child support. Rob and Tiger pay a combined total of $80,000 a year for their kids' school and have them more than 75% of the week, one person wrote. Sounds like the fathers have the kids more than her. She may owe them child support, said another. Bars. That's what I'm talking about. It says, a year later, Angela addressed her comments during an appearance on the Jason Lee show. It says, initially noting that she found it crazy that Tiger and Rob didn't pay child support, Angela wound up explaining that she hadn't legally requested any because of how active they are in their kids' lives. I feel like if they were not in their lives, then yeah, she said, when asked if she'd ever legally request child support. Before later agreeing when host Jason said, they're active fathers uh, who take care of things. Girl, if you, again, if you're going broke because you figured out that you were a joke, just say that. Anyway, it says, but fast forward to today and Angela has requested child support from Tyga in new court documents. <sighs> According to the legal filings obtained by multiple outlets, Angela requested that joint custody and physical custody of King be split between herself and Tyga. The documents uh, purportedly read, the court may make orders for support of the children and issue an earnings assignment without further notice to either party. The exact amount of child support that Angela has asked from Tyga has not been disclosed. However, the rapper quickly made it clear that he isn't happy with her request. I wouldn't be either. How in the hell am I spending 75% of the time with the child and I'm paying all of this money for the child to go to school. You know what I'm saying? And you want me to cash out for you all because you go on broke? I mean, the proof is in the pudding, you all. The fact that she had to sell all of her stuff, right? Try to rebrand as this holier than thou chick. Like that was all the proof that you needed to know that, yeah, she's only doing this because she's not making ends meet how she wanted them to people are not really checking for her like she, she's becoming washed up and irrelevant so what better choice to go to than to go after a black guy right because is, is she going after rob kardashian for any child support is she y'all let me know but I don't believe that she's going after uh, Rob. Maybe she is. Maybe she is. And I'll, I'll say something and correct it if, I, if I'm wrong. But we already know when it comes to the legal system and the courts and stuff of that sort, with black men in particular, they're more than likely going to make him pay up. So he's an easy target is what I'm trying to say. And so if I'm going broke as this struggling uh, boss chick, what better route to take than to go after my rich black baby daddy and demand all of his money? Craziness. It says, reacting to the court filings on Instagram, Tiger called his ex out in the comments of a post shared by the Shade Room. It says, no, 10 years later, nah, stick to your schedule Saturday through Monday. Saturday Sunday, Monday. Girl, you got your baby three days out the week and you're demanding child support? If y'all don't get the hell on. And now you asking for it 10 years later? That's because you're going broke 10 years later. Black China is not the Black China today that she was 10 years ago. Black China was in Nicki Minaj videos and Black China was, I mean, she, she was popping. But today, not, not so much. 
the rebrand of you know being godly didn't work going on only fans making all that money after a while that gets dried up because why nothing's left to the imagination i saw everything that's what these 304s don't realize that is a short lifespan right if you're out here trying to go to city girl hot girl 304 route and you want to get your clout out off of that just know that it's temporary and short-lived nine years max and that's pushing it especially in today's time where the chicks just get nastier and nastier and freakier and freakier and just you know over the top your lifespan may be six months Black China had a long run because, you know, people weren't really fighting like that back in the day. But today, you got Glorilla, you got Sexy Red, you got the City Girls. I mean, come on, you got Sukiyana. You got all of these chicks today to where they out trying to outdo each other. The answer just go way over the top. So if you try to take that route in today's time, good luck. You're going to go broke sooner. But yeah, the reason why it's 10 years later and now she's trying to get child support and all of this is because now she's going broke 10 years later. It's not because she's a single mother. You've been a single mother, right? You've been a single mother all this time. And then on top of that, you haven't even had your kids the majority of the time that you've been this single mother. So again, ma'am, let's just be honest. Admit that y'all are struggling. Admit that y'all are going broke. Admit that y'all made a mistake. Humble yourselves and maybe we can get somewhere. But until then, it's not looking that good for y'all. So, yeah, Tiger said what he said. And yeah, it looks like Angela had no words. It says Angela did not respond to Tiger's remarks, but we'll be sure to let you know if she does. Mm, mm, mm. How sad you all. But unfortunately, this is what happens. This is what happens when you think that you can be this hot girl, city girl, boss chick, and, and just live reckless and wild and free, and you think it's going to last forever. It doesn't. You become a has-been quickly. All right? And like I said earlier, I told y'all so. I told y'all don't do this. But what did y'all what did y'all call me? Again, y'all called me a male identified pick me. Y'all said I was pandering. Y'all said that um y'all knew best. I was dumb. I was setting women back. And look at you now. Look at you now. Now you're all the way back there trying to pay trying to play catch up today. And again, the only, the OF stuff, temporary. Y'all do way too much and nothing at all. Y'all show way too much and end up being left with nothing to the imagination. And before you know it, you, you canceled yourself out. Oh, I, I already seen those tits. I already seen that ass. I already seen that pink print. So, I mean, hey. On to the next. I hope you all learn a valuable lesson. Be wise. Be careful. Um, don't be out here reckless in the streets. Don't ever think that you're going to be, you know, this city girl, hot girl, ratchet chick. And this is all going to pan out for you. And it's going to all last forever. Be careful. What y'all need to do is. When you find a good thing, hold on to that good thing. Don't think that, oh, I'm going to discard of him, throw him away, and I'll save him for later. The men are not going. And it's so bad that y'all are now trying to force these men to pay up. And I, I don't know if that's going to work out for you, especially when a lot of the, the men today are moving extremely wisely with um, how they are conducting their lives, right? It used to be a thing to where men didn't fight for their children and men didn't take care of their children and men didn't um, cash out or pay for certain things. But now we're starting to see a lot more men be a lot more active, a lot more proactive. 
And so when you try to use some of those same tricks and answers on them that you used to be able to utilize, it's not really going to go in your favor because once we pull up all of these documents, we're going to be able to see this track record and this history of him paying for this and him taking care of that and you actually being the one that is coming up short. That's the type of men that we are dealing with today. Men are not paying up. Men are not playing with y'all and y'all are looking stupid. And it's all because you refuse to move righteously and wisely. Be careful. You do not want to be like Black China. Anyway, y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe, let me know how y'all feel about this. Um, have you gone through something similar? Um, what did you do about it? What was the outcome? We would love to hear about it. But um, I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. Uh, also, remember to hit that notification bell, you all. That way you can be alerted for future dope discussions, all right? But I had to come on here and let y'all know it's getting real in the field for a lot of these women of today. A lot of them are going broke. A lot of them are struggling. And because men are playing their hands right, they are now in a position to where they're trying to force men to um, take care of them, force men to uh, pay for their lifestyles, force men to deal with them. And it's looking like it's going to be a hassle. It's going to be something that they are also going to struggle with because men are laying the law down properly. Men have their ducks in a row. We are not dealing with the, those basic guys from the past. Oh, no. Be careful, ladies. With that being said, uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and peace to my crown heads.